All right, what's up, what's up? I have such an interesting one today. What does it cost to stay at Luxor? I was here in summer season on a weekend, and I have never seen room rates drop like this in my life. They were crazy expensive on Friday and Saturday, and then on Sunday they dropped by 85%. Never seen that big of a drop before in my life. I did a little bit of everything. I did some high-end dining, mid, low. Uh, I did a little bit of gambling. Um, I got some cool drinks at the pool and at their lounges. Like I said, I'm just gonna go over everything uh, from the room, resort fee. I'm going to disclose it all. Three nights, Luxor, summer season, weekend. Let's do it. Uh, my first meal was at Diablo's, and this was my favorite restaurant at Luxor. This is the restaurant to go to. It's perched on the second level. Really cool and fun and edgy. Big portions, gigantic portions. Uh, my two favorite memories were the El Gordo. This thing is like a Vegas hack if I've ever heard one. It is seven drinks in one. It comes with six shots and then two mini beers, seven drinks total for $25. Like how can you afford not to? You got to get that drink. So it was also really cool, you know, great selfie opportunity, great, it's very picture worthy. Um, I had some other stuff as well. Uh, I guess the best dish of the night was absolutely the beef burrito. That thing was gigantic. It definitely took half of that home. I had some queso fundido and a really large salad too. It was a really fun experience. I highly recommend it. Subtotal with tax was 100. I put on another uh, 19 and change. 120 out the door for Diablos. All right, so that's pretty much all I did my first night. I wanted to ease into my trip. Uh, my second day was my biggest day. I started out at the pool. I really enjoyed the Luxor pool. Uh, there were like four different pools, uh, two big ones, two small ones, good energy. There were, you know, the waterfalls and stuff up there. You got the pyramid in the background. It was a nice time. Uh, I had a double Dole Whip, not just a regular Dole Whip. I had a 32 ounce Dole Whip, and I think there were four shots of rum in there. Um, that was $30. I uh, threw five in cash, so I'm not putting that on here. And then my second drink was even bigger than my first one. As if you could get any bigger, I got the Three Amigos. And the Three Amigos is a 70-ounce margarita. Wow. Uh, yeah, that will get you wherever you need to go fast. So the base price is $49 on this. Uh, tax is another four, and then I threw on another basically $10. Uh, $63 for this one drink right here with tax and tip. Uh, with the Dole Whip out the door, my two drinks at the pool, my two gargantuan drinks, that's all you need. Uh, for a pool day at, at Luxor, uh, $93. So I worked up quite the appetite at the pool. On my way back, walking back to my room, um, I stopped by Backstage Deli. It's basically just like a quick deli style restaurant, grab and go style. Uh, I had a spicy ham and cheese, which was not spicy at all. I think they mixed up spicy and salty. Uh, definitely it was a sodium bonanza. That was $16. And then I had a bagel sandwich with an extra egg on it. That was $12.25. Uh, there really wasn't much service, but I still did tip the counter guy about $4, uh, all included for two sandwiches at Backstage Deli, 34 bucks. And then that night, I went to the best restaurant here on site. It's called Tender Steakhouse. This place, it's interesting because when you look at it from the outside, from the casino floor, it looks just like a small cocktail lounge. It doesn't look like a steakhouse at all. And in fact, it kind of looks a little chintzy and it might kind of keep you away, but don't worry. All you're seeing is the bar area. The actual restaurant is behind it. There are multiple dining rooms, and it's pretty dark and cool in there. Um, I could not eat another steak at this time if you paid me. After all the steaks I've had on this trip, I had to do something different, and I'm really glad I switched it up. I had the meat and cheese plate, which was unbelievable. It was huge. It was beautiful. That is another Vegas hack for 26 bucks. That's pretty much a meal within itself. I also had a shrimp cocktail and a carpaccio. Um, I had a couple drinks as well. Definitely the drink to get there is in rare form. That's the first drink I ordered. It was my favorite, and I love the name. So subtotal was 94, tax was another eight. Um, I threw on another 20% out the door, $120 for a meal at Tender Steakhouse. And then on my last day here, my first morning, I started out with breakfast, and by breakfast, I mean high stake slots. I try to put a $100 bill in every high stake slot room in every single casino here. Um, I found a triple double diamond machine. I love my diamond machines. And the first time I saw this machine was actually last trip and it took my money quickly. It like stole my money. But I wasn't gun shy, I wanted to play it again and I'm glad I did. I put in $100 and two minutes later I was up $275, $375 total. I cashed that out. However, I'm just counting expenses for the sake of this video, so gambling, $100. So, and then my last night here I went to the place I've been looking forward to going the most. I actually like a lot of casual dining. You don't see a ton of casual dining 
uh, on my channel, but I actually do prefer it a lot of times because sometimes the high-end dining just gets to be too much. Um, so Public House is basically like a large sports bar. You're going to get a sports bar menu. Um, I had a bunch of stuff. I had tuna nachos, pizza bites, a couple different beers. Um, I would say the best dish of the night was actually the tuna nachos or the pizza bites. Um, and then I had two beers. One was called the Kilt Lifter. It was a brown ale, and I typically despise brown ales. It was actually really good. But the best uh, beer of the night was the Golden Monkey. This was the most expensive beer they had because it was 10% alcohol. Basically, it's like two beers in one. It came out in a beautiful bottle, and it was actually quite palatable as well. I also had a burger as well. That's kind of what they're known for. The burger was actually my least favorite dish of the three, even though it was still really good. Two beers, three apps. Uh, subtotal was 74. Tax was like another six and change. I threw on roughly 20%. $95 out the door for Public House. I didn't want to end my video and my experience on a sports bar, so I went to the coolest lounge that they have here. It's called Aurora Lounge. This place is very aptly named because it has one of the most beautiful chandeliers in it that I've, that I've ever seen. I was mesmerized by it. I was enchanted by it. Um, I channeled my inner 16-year-old and took a bunch of selfies in there. This place is definitely worth going to, even just for a drink or two. I mean, not only is it beautiful, it probably is the best spot to get a drink here uh, on site. I had two drinks. I had a Mai Tai, which came out super sweet. I wasn't disappointed with that at all. And then I had a Adios. And you've seen these before. They're called Adios Goodbye or Adios MF. And I just found this out that Adioses are actually just a Long Island iced tea with blue carousel or blue caracal, however you say it. But it's just a Long Island with that blue stuff in it. Did you know that? I had no idea. My mind was actually blown. The drinks were actually really affordable. I had two of them. Uh, the two drinks with the tip out the door. $30 at Aurora Lounge. So this is one I'm not happy with. And this is one of the reasons that I don't like Luxor and this region up here is because it's so isolated. Typically, I try to make a CVS run or a Walgreens run once per trip. I stock up on waters, protein bars, you know, just kind of like daily food and drinks so I don't have to spend it here at the market or at the casino because it gets really expensive doing that. There really isn't a CVS or Walgreens close by to here. So I was relegated and forced to spend a bunch of money at the market. I went to the market four times and my average was over $25 per time. And basically, I just bought a bunch of Voss waters and a bunch of coconuts throughout the trip. Uh, my four market runs, a market run pretty much every day, cost me $104. All right, let's get down to the brass tacks. Let's get down to the room rates. Friday night, $217, which is expensive for Luxor. That's, that's almost predatory for the Luxor, is what it is. It was, a, it was a hopping weekend here. Saturday night, same price, $217. Typically, Saturday can uptick a little bit. It stayed the same, $217. Sunday night. $30. $30. What? So that's the price Luxor should be. Luxor should be at $30. That's the Luxor that I have known this entire time. $217 is outrageous. So when I add up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and divide by three to get my average room rate for the weekend, $155. Ouch. Uh, that's not all though. We have some taxes. Uh, taxes over three nights were $62. And then there is the resort fee, aka the extort fee. Uh, the bane of my existence, uh, it was $39.68 per day. That's always a flat rate. We multiply that by three, $119 for total resort fees. So when I add up everything to get my true room cost, I add up the room, the taxes, and the resort fee, it adds up to $646 for three nights. Then I divide that by three to get my actual average per night, $215 a night at the Luxor. That was more expensive than MGM Grand. So when I add it all together, my dining, my pool day, uh, my miscellaneous food, my market items, my slots, everything else, the drinks, uh, it comes up to over budget for sure. I expected this trip to be around $1,200. Um, this one came in at $1,343, $1,343. Um, I probably could have shaved a few hundred dollars off it if I would not have gone to the market as much and if I would not have got those crazy drinks at the pool. If I would have not got the crazy drinks and not gone to the market, I would have shaved off a couple hundred bucks, I'd be right at where I wanted to be, which is around 1,200. Uh, nonetheless, that's what it's gonna cost you. Now remember, I eat and drink for two people, so if you are coming with someone else, a significant other, a buddy, looking at the pool cost or split cost, I think this would be an accurate representation. 
Also, I always say this, prices in Vegas fluctuate wildly based off weekday to weekend. We saw that from Saturday to Sunday night. What I pay may not be necessarily what you will pay overall, but I think this is gonna be a pretty good barometer of what you can expect on a summer weekend here at Luxor.